evening, uh, Norm Sobert at 70 Tide Mill Road, speaking on behalf of Rational Taxpayers of Hampton. When I spoke with you last week, I was reading from a prepared document because it was a complex subject, and I think I followed up and sent you copies with additional information of the things that are of concern to our group. And um, I would really like to request that because there was such a large increase in the budget, and even though it's been ameliorated by use of the undesignated uh, surplus to help reduce the rate to the taxpayers, it doesn't really change the amount of money that's going to be spent on an ongoing basis. And I'm not very optimistic, uh, based a lot upon a lot of the feedback that I've gotten over the past week, that the that budget's going to pass. So therefore the focus is really going to be on a default budget. And I feel that there's been a limited discussion to no discussion about the items that are in the default budget, who's made a decision to put the things in, the items in the default budget, and uh, to whether they've been properly added to the default budget. And I would respectfully request that this topic be brought to the public's attention so they can have a complete understanding of the decision-making process of the items that are included in the default budget. I think it's extremely important and something that should not be ignored. Thank you for your time. There has been comment uh, two weeks in a row in the um, uh, public comment period uh, about uh, our budget. And the selectman's budget has been handed up from department heads. There has been year-long work in that budget process by department heads. It has been chopped and vetted through the town manager. It has come to this board, and it has been approved by a unanimous vote. And I would say, as a rational taxpayer myself and, and uh, the board as well, that we support our budget. We encourage the town to support that budget and vote for that budget. I just wanted to, to say that. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Yeah. Before she goes, yes, uh, we do not put the default budget together. I'm not this even is talking about the this is fine. Well, but since default budget has been such a big deal, the finance office, to the best of my understanding, puts the default budget together. So that's in in Christie's hands, and the decisions that this board makes regarding management, removing positions, adding positions, etc., is within the scope of authority of this board as the managers of the community. So I just want to stress that. I, no, I don't sit down and make the default budget. So okay. stop worrying. I would just add that it's, it's the town manager as well. <laughs> Christine, the town manager, put together right. that, and this board approves that to move right. on to the budget committee. But we're yeah. not okay. sitting there. Understood. Can I vote? Business. Uh, I just had, and, and I hate to even say the word because everybody will jump, default budget. The, <laughs> the, the chairman of the... Uh, Budget committee was going to email you, and I, I, that did not happen, I, I assume. Uh, you, you email me. I have, I have scoured my um, spam label suddenly, uh, town account. I did not see it. If, if uh, the chair has sent that to me, could you please have a resend if she's listening? Yeah. But I have not received anything. Yeah, because they wanted us to take something up, which I'm, we, if it's not been sent to you, we're not going to take it up. I, I, have, I have not been sent that anything, and, and, and had I received something from the chair, I certainly would. Okay, and the other thing is on the on the rational taxpayers. You know, do people understand what the default budget is? And at some point, should we really explain the? I mean, I know we did a little bit tonight, but mm -hmm. should it be explained what exactly the default budget is, mm -hmm. how it's how it's put together, and why it is what it is? Mm -hmm. It's not the default. Uh, it's not the uh, rational taxpayers of Hampton. It's Mr. Sobodek. Well, if he's bringing a letter here that lists everybody's name of who he's speaking for, he's speaking for himself. That's all any of us here need to be wants. concerned okay. about. And, and, and I think, and, and we're going to certainly get into That's one the, person. We're, 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 we're now looking at Warren articles. Yeah. And we, we have done our job as, this is just my opinion, we've done our job taking the department heads budgets, we have unanimously passed the budget. We have asked the finance director here, I believe, to explain the default budget on TV. So we've done that. And again, I'm enthusiastically supporting the budget we've unanimously passed. If we receive queries or questions from anybody, we can task those to the assistant town manager, to Mr. Welch when he returns, to finance, and we can we can staff these appropriately. So mm -hmm. I, I, I think it's an important issue, but um, go ahead. And if we're, anyone that speaks 
for, uh, you know, what do you call it, a petition, they set the letters down. He's speaking for himself. That's all that we have to hear from him. We don't know who, if he, other than, he, than he's speaking with other people, he needs to submit their names. Okay. Sir. We were elected by the public to do a job. <clears throat> the public wanted us to do a job, and I feel we've done a very good job at presenting a budget. With the help from, with the help from department heads, with the help of the town manager, and now our assistant town manager, they have given us the needs of what they wanted to see move forward in this town, and that's what we've presented. People are tired of seeing potholes in the roads. They're tired of seeing us go backwards. And I'll say it again, I can't run my house on what I spent 10 years ago today, and that's what's going to happen. So we've given a budget. We need to put, go forward with it. I think we've done a good job of trying to explain it. And let's move forward and present and present and defend a budget that is just for you. Mm. Thank you. If the focus on the on the default budget, uh, prior <coughs> boards of selectmen uh, have done the same thing that this board is doing. If new positions are initiated or discontinued during the year, which select which the board of selectmen has the authority to do. That's factored in the default budget because there is a formula for the default budget, which the finance director is following. And the formula says that expenses that you're locked into and things like bonds and interest and so forth have to be factored in because the town has to be able to um, function. I am so sick and tired of hearing people blabbing about default budgets. It's a technicality. It's something that's there to advise the taxpayers. It doesn't have a life of its own. So get off the default budget. I'm sick of hearing it. I don't care who's going to vote for it or who isn't going to vote for it. Just be quiet and go ahead and pay attention to the budgeting process. Or I'll get mad. Thank you, ma'am. We don't want you mad, Selectman Wilson. Um, 